by Rich Winter. There was Tiger Woods yesterday, grimacing on the back nine of the PGA Championships. Fortunately, he didn't make the cut and we can stop talking about Tiger and his elusive quest to win his next major. Can someone please tell me what kind of medical advice Woods is getting? He comes off back surgery, plays in a tournament about a month before it looked like he was ready. He faltered all over the British Open, withdrew from last week's tournament because of back problems, and then showed up anyway with a non-inspiring, missed the cut at the PGA tournament. Who is advising this guy? Whoever it is, needs to have his or her head examined. Tiger seems caught in the chase, meaning he's bound and determined that he's going to do whatever it takes to get back on the golf course and pursue Jack Nicklaus's record for most majors in a career. Whatever the consequences may be. He keeps rushing back from knee and back injuries and you know that knee has to be shot by now as early and as often as he has played in his life. Note to Tiger, why don't you take a whole year off? Get your body and mind right and get back to the assault. I'm guessing he'll jump in the European Tour here in a few weeks since he isn't ranked high enough in the FedEx Cup points to have any reason to play tournaments in the US, and Tom Watson, no way this guy deserves to be on the Ryder Cup team. I for one am pretty tired of the hype surrounding a pretty mediocre golf pro.